Hello YouTube, uh, Death Junior here again with Patrick, and we're looking at possible pirating options in the current ships. Uh, kind of debating how which ones could be good for pirating and which ones probably not so much. Um, well, right now looking at, I think the Aurora has some pretty good cargo capacity. Um, has what? Let's see, five tons. Um, Compare, I mean, compared to the Bandula, three tons. Um, so it's better in that regard. But by far, the Cutlass, or sorry, the Freelancer, um, is going to have the best car capacity along with the um, Caterpillar. Um, both of those, I believe, have tractor beams to uh, bring in ships as well as the Cutlass, right? The Freelancer doesn't. The Cutlass and the Caterpillar do. Okay. The Freelancer is more of a, it's a hauling ship. Mm. But I, I figured it's got. Assuming all these missiles on the side aren't just for show, it's got quite the payload. Right. So I threw it in this list right here. Okay. I threw the Aurora in because it's highly modular and you can upgrade it. So it, because of the fact that it's extremely modular, it's it can fit into almost any category. And I figured, why not pirating? Mm -hmm. Right. So very customizable. So that's a handy feature. Indeed. Um, the Vandal Scythe, um, maneuverable, um, along with the Cutlass, a um, little bit less maneuverable probably than the Cutlass, but still, um, the 12 thrusters on it uh, definitely bring up its maneuverability. It's also got that ramming blade. I'm not quite sure how to compare that to other stuff, but hmm. it's, um, I can I imagine it'd be quite powerful considering how fast this ship would be going at you. Right. And just hit you with that ramming blade. Mm -hmm. Be quite powerful. Yeah, um, not sure exactly what kind of damage it would do, but I'm betting it's going to be fairly substantial. Um, especially if it like punctures through and that there's a vacuum of space, that might do some pretty good damage. And it's got chemical reactive IR missiles and a couple of Class One Bandul weapons, which not too certain on how those work, but I kind of from the intro videos and stuff, the Vanduul seemed like it was quite the pirating vessel for the Vanduul race. But according to this, um, the description, it's a foot soldier in every raid and the target, and oh, it's the target of every human fighter pilot. So it's obviously somewhat dangerous. Mm -hmm. And if they're doing constant raids, they're obviously trying to get some loot or something. Right, for sure. So. If one of these things just happens to hunt down, say, I don't know, a freelancer, then it could be potentially trying to pirate it. Yeah. They'd have to probably take the ship because it got such it has such a low cargo capacity, so they'd probably have to have something uh, that was carrying extra people along with it, like, I don't know, a cutlass or a caterpillar to drop people onto the freelancer, or to drop people onto the freelancer. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Unless, unless they intend to ditch the ship and just take the freelancer, which I don't see that happening. Yeah, I wouldn't do that probably. Nah, um, I don't think so either. Yeah, I mean, with one person crew, um, I'm easily manageable. Do those, um, let's probably have more seats, right? Um, the which ones? Uh, Aurora. Um, Aurora for sure does. Okay. No. No? Okay. The Aurora has a little bit of room in the area behind the seat where you can have the people standing around mm -hmm. if you really want to. Okay. And it's also got a bed, I guess. Right. So okay. you, you could potentially have a few people in there. Yeah. There is room for people to stand in, but in the site it's a cockpit along with... Actually, that's the only one that's a cockpit. Right, so Vandal Sky is probably not going to be doing much boarding then. No, it'd probably be maybe taking some loot or ha maybe fly escort with another pirating vessel of the Vandal race or something. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're probably not going to be taking the ships necessarily, but they might take the three tons of cargo that they can. Right. And... I don't know, maybe, maybe like five of these things attack a freelancer and then they can make off with 15 tons instead. Right, yeah. Um, I, could see the, I could see the Vandal Scythe pirating in groups, but I think the Cutlass or the Aurora or the Caterpillar or the Freelancer even had more potential pirating solo. For sure. Um, and the Freelancer, I mean, it's common speculation that it's going to be it's going to be a merchant ship. It's going to be a lawful type thing with the caterpillar as its evil twin. But the freelancer, I think it has some serious potential if all those rockets that are visually there are actually 
part of the payload. Because mm -hmm. it'll be able to take down, I think, a constellation even. Maybe. Um, Was it just enough burst brute damage to take it down? And it's got these massive turrets on the side as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it could be quite powerful. Yeah. Um, it is looking like it's probably one of the more, um, one of the ships with the heaviest firepower in this list. Um, so definitely probably good on its own. I also threw the Aurora in here because it's modular, but I mean, you can uh, get the Legionnaire version of it, which has more firepower, including a bunch of missiles. I mean, we saw in the video for the uh, the Hornet, there was an Aurora chasing the Hornet down. Mm -hmm. We're not sure if it, if it was, we're pretty sure it's an unlawful Aurora in the video, but we're not sure if it's trying to plunder the thing or just blow it up or what. Right. But it, it could potentially, it, I mean, it could potentially have even like bigger cargo capacity if you use something besides the store all mini like i mean the, the mini is on the name for a reason i imagine there's going to be a store all big sized or large or mm -hmm. humongous or some sort of huge crate you can put under here right. extra carrying capacity yeah so um, extra cargo space yeah and the cutlass stuff has 10 10 tons stock i don't know if you can upgrade this upgrade that on the cutlass, but it'd be kind of cool if you could. Yeah, I mean, the Aurora for sure would need it um, if it was really going to get into plundering. Yeah, because the Aurora is obviously not going to be able to take too many ships with only one one person. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you could throw three of your friends in the back and just have them kind of stand there and hope they don't die during liftoff. Mm -hmm. Which I, it doesn't. it looks like they do a VTOL takeoff, so I can't imagine it'd be yeah. too hard. Yeah. A little bit of turbulence going through the atmosphere, assuming they get on in that it, inside an atmosphere. I mean, they could get on in like a space station or something, mm -hmm. right? And then just come back with whatever they plunder. Yeah. So, um, probably going to see a lot of player creativity as far as use goes with the Aurora and the Sky. Um, see how those end up being used. Yeah, I I don't know if the I don't know if the Scythe is actually available to players, but I imagine it could be. Mm -hmm. Those of players that are working with the Van Duel, I guess. Possibly, yeah. The, I think the Cutlass is a, it's obviously a good option for pirates, and so is the Caterpillar, but I figured I'd throw the Freelancer and the Aurora, which are more lawful ships, well, seem to be more lawful ships, and I think that they could potentially pirate as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's about it. Um, this has just been a quick review of possible pirating ships that they've released so far. Uh, Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe for more.